107. All right. Seven and a half. Ninety-seven and a half and one sixteen. Ninety-seven and a half and one sixteen. One oh six point seven five. Hello everybody, this is a slideshow type of video and it's introducing engine number 120. It is a 397. I call it that because it's base, it's a 40 over 395 cubic inch. So that it also with the eagle rods, those bolts stick out quite a bit. Now you have more stroke, so you have a lot of clearance and you have to do. I did my initial guess and it was not even close. Uh, I expected to have to clearance again, so here's the block and getting all cleaned up. And I made sure I put the steel ball back in after doing that cleaning. Put the camshaft bearings in because I want to have the camshaft in uh, when I put all the rod pistons in. One at a time, I need to make sure that there's, there's no uh, interference with the uh, camshaft lobes. This is a nice camshaft. It's a billet core. I always like seeing a billet core. It's uh, quite a big camshaft. You saw the cam card earlier. Now the pin many times is now too long, not too short. So I eyeballed it. It looked a bit too short. I mean, it looked a bit too long. So I pull it and then I put the cam in. Then I make sure that I uh, shorten it and then push the cam back in, the cam pin. If it's too long, it'll bump and push forward against the, I guess, you know, the cam sensor and things like that. All right, here I am using my very, I guess my most favorite and the best tool I ever purchased many years ago. That's my uh, Total Seal ring gapping tool. It is quite accurate and repeatable and good quality. After you do the grinding, you know, the filing, that emery, fingernail file it's it's very very fine it's not actually doing any kind of uh, uh, grinding on the end of that gap it's taking off any kind of uh, nick or burr I have to look through like, like a, a little magnifying glass there to to really scrutinize it because I don't want any little teeny scratches or, or the rings to drag just square it up there in the in the bore and check here that it is 22 thou. I set the gaps at the first ring, 24 thou, and the second ring, 22 thou. Then I can load up another ring. That one was right on. It really is very repeatable. Once you set up the first ring to know where to set that uh, tools uh, dial bore, uh, the dial indicator. All the rest will come very, very close. So it's very repeatable. Taking away the nicks there at the very end. I do believe in this video, that is the second ring. And the second rings are softer no, actually, that's the, the top ring. I do the top ring first, then I do the second ring because then I pull them out and put them on the pistons in the opposite order. So that is the, the harder, uh, the, the real nice steel top ring.
Thank you.